Hello friends, welcome to Inside Saigon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about anti-satellite weapons, popularly known as ASAT. You know, USA is expressing their concern regarding Russia may going for the testing of anti-satellite mission. In this context, we will try to understand about what is this ASAT is all about, anti-satellite weapons. Simple weapons which are going to target satellites present in the space. They are known as anti-satellite weapons. Okay, Weapons which are going to target the satellites and the satellites will orbit in a definite orbit. Okay, I mean revolves in definite orbit. In last class, before last class I told you, orbits are different types of orbits. Equatorial orbits and the polar orbits and apart from that ecliptical orbits and based on the height, low earth orbit, medium earth orbit and geostationary orbit. Orbits are different types of orbits. So, any satellite which is revolving in a particular orbit, if you target the satellite okay, by launching a weapon that is known as anti-satellite weapon. Now, why it is in news? It is in news because USA is expressing their concerns that Russia is launching and trying to launch a nuclear anti-satellite weapons. That is the reason it is in news. Now, let us see the context. And apart from this, in this video, we are going to discuss about different types of anti-satellite weapons and history. I mean, which countries, which countries having this kind of weapons? You know, India is also had their own anti-satellite weapon. If you remember, actually it was happened in five years back, it was tested. If you remember, what is the name of the India's anti-satellite weapon? What is the name of the India's anti-satellite weapon? Okay. So, put your answer in the comment section. Now, see. USA is raising their concerns about anti-satellite weapon being developed by the Russia. And according to the various uh, intelligence reports from news agencies, Russia is actively working towards the development of, you know, like the development of nuclear anti-satellite weapon. Nuclear anti-satellite weapon is all about anti-satellite weapon which can, which can carry the nuclear weapons. That means they can have the warhead of nuclear technology as well. That is the anti-missile, anti-missile weapons. Okay. Of course, different anti-missile weapons, they use different technology. Based on that, there are two types of anti-missile weapons. We will see. Okay. They destroy the satellites which are already in the orbit. There are two different types, like I said earlier. Kinetic energy methods, kinetic energy methods and non-kinetic method. Here, the kinetic energy method, here, this anti-satellite weapon it will go directly and hit that satellite. Okay, hit the satellite. Recently, for example, Insat 3DS will launch it. If you launch this anti-satellite weapon, this weapon will go and hit that satellite physically. Physically collides with that. So when it physically collides, because of that kinetic energy it gained in its uh, journey, because of that, that satellite will be destroyed. Okay, these can be ballistic missiles, drones, and other satellites in this method. The first one is kinetic energy method, non-kinetic energy method. Here, no physical, no physical attack, no physical attack without any physically destroying. And this can be from air, low orbit or even from the ground installations like, you know, a cyber attack of the satellites and uh, making sure the satellites are malfunctioning by ground system itself. These are the non-kinetic methods. And some other countries. I mean, so far, these weapons are present only with the four countries and India is one of the country. So, there is one uh, treaty regarding how to use this outer space, you know, across the globe to establish the peace after the World War II, we established a UNO, you know that. In the same manner, to make sure the space is used for peaceful purpose, the, well, there is one treaty. The treaty name is Outer Space Treaty. This outer space treaty is completely violating, this completely prohibiting the use of nuclear weapons in outer space. And even developing of this nuclear anti-satellite weapons is completely in violation of the outer space treaty. Outer space treaty is multilateral agreement and the main objective is preventing the militarization of space. Actually, this outer space treaty was, uh, it was enacted during the Cold War time. It was a time where USA and Russia, they both are trying to get dominance in the space. Okay. And they are having a race at that time. That is the reason, you know, like uh, USA was very rushed to compete with Russia, USSR, USA 
they were in rush and even they sent this human into the space okay human into the space this i mean even into the moon as well into the space russia first and uh, usa first they sent uh, human onto the surface of the moon neil armstrong and uh, uh, so, so some other peoples are there okay now again they are trying they are now they are planning in a very effectively through artemis mission that also I explained in the previous videos so the develop the deployment of asat weapon okay with the nuclear capability it will definitely violate the outer space treaty okay which uh, rule which sub rule is violating here here this outer space treaty article 4 article 4 is prohibiting the use of weapons of mass destruction in earth's orbit and article 9 is prohibiting the harmful contamination of the space because when you use the anti missile weapon with nuclear capability you are hitting that satellite with the nuclear weapon and the space is also will be contaminated with the nuclear substance okay next purpose what is the main purpose a particular country will develop the anti missile weapons purpose can be it can be for the defense measure okay so that they can get protection from their adversaries and force multiplier it can be added as further enhancement to their to their military capabilities counter measure against anti ballistic missiles okay nowadays anti ballistic missiles are being launched from one country to another country one continent to another continent in india also we have anti ballistic missiles such as agni 1 2 3 4 5 all these are the anti ballistic missiles and to gain superior over another country okay for example if a country is having the anti satellite weapon if another country don't have then obviously the country with anti satellite weapon it is going to have a edge over the other country so that can leads to the asymmetric counter and the counter value weapon so when one country is launching this weapon to counter that another country may develop so these are the different uh, situations because of which a country will develop the anti missile weapons next history and development so far four countries developed usa ussr and china india usa we will see usa developed their anti missile this weapon in late 1950s that is known as weapon system ws 199a it can be launched from ground missiles and advancements in directed energy weapons including i mean later they they the they advanced with the technology and they developed various laser systems developed by agencies like lawrence livermore national laboratory they further enhanced their anti missile weapons next soviet union soviet union anti missile weapon is coorbital asset systems like istbital okay istbital sputnikov is program is program which was developed in 1973 china also developed such kind of weapons such as fengyun 1c fengyun 1c it is a ground based asat system so that means it will be launched from the ground it was tested in 2007 india is about the mission shakti we tested in successfully in 2019 by targeting the microsat r satellite by targeting microsat r satellite it was targeted next what are the issues this 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 kind of anti missile weapons they generate tremendous amount of the space debris which poses hazard to various space operation including the civil operations and commercial activities of the space and it may also it may also leads to nuclear waste in the space so these are the challenges of course no country should welcome this kind of nuclearization of space and the violation of the outer space treaty now let's see last videos mcqs consider the following statements in the case of all cereals pulses and oil seeds the procurement at msp is unlimited no only at certain limits will be there in the case of uh, cereals and pulses msp is fixed higher than the market price no lower than the market price so both the statements are wrong answer is neither one nor two next biphenol a is a cause of concern is a structural component in the manufacture of which of the following kinds of plastic polycarbonate section 125 of the crpc primarily deals with maintenance of wives children and parents even it was in news regarding the new crime laws as well main question the emergence of reports about russia's development of new asat weapon with potential nuclear capability it underscores the need for heightened vigilance and international cooperation in space that means 
this uh, speculations about Russia testing of this anti-missile weapons, it is again emphasizing the more stringent international law based on this critically analyze this question. As we reach the end of this video, in this particular video, we mainly discussed about what is anti-missile weapon, why USA is expressing concern and different types of anti-missile weapons, outer space treaty also be discussed and history of the anti-missile weapons. That means which countries are having this anti-missile weapons now and issues related to anti-missile weapons. So, this is the detailed analysis regarding the anti-missile weapons. Thanks for watching our channel. Have a great day. Jai Hind.